I am a vegetarian and I've had it up to here. No, here. Here to the non-vegetarians and their constant bullying. Non-vegetarians are running the world. I don't have proof, but let's just say some verified WhatsApp forwards exist. We vegetarians can't run the world. We have the vitamins and the greens to figure out how to do it, but not enough protein to actually do it. The world that these non-vegetarians run is unfair, discriminatory and unequal. And I will tell you how. Let's say a bunch of friends have gotten together and gone out for dinner. A homogeneous group of seeming equal, united in friendship, feeding the stomach and more importantly, feeding the Instagram feed. They seem homogeneous, but contained in this group are vegetarians and non-vegetarians. And I'm not going to talk about vegans here because the topic is about eating. Vegans don't eat because a vegan diet is mainly consisting of not eating, but avoiding. Avoiding is their main ingredient. In order to complete the basic task of eating, a vegan basically avoids eating, which is like going to the gym and walking around in circles around the gym equipment in a gym in order to burn calories and then finally paying more than everybody else in the gym who are using the gym as a gym. Vegan food has the least ingredients but the most price because they don't consume calories, pa. They consume virtue. Vegetarians could have been vegans but we chose hunger over virtue. This group only feels homogenous because we are all united during eating in the community activity of overeating. Overeating where we invariably cross the lines from major hunger to mild hunger to I am satisfied and I should stop now to maybe some more gravy to slightly more roti to eat that gravy and then to more gravy to eat that leftover roti leading to infinite regressions of leftover roti and gravy and leftover gravy and roti. By the end of it, the truth is that our stomach is in horrible trauma. Vegetarians and non-vegetarians sitting together, post heavy meals, stomach burn and a mini weapons factory is operating in the gut, ready to release arsenal. Arsenal. To catalyze the release of this high pressure situation caused by overeating, we resort to a solution for our problem of having eaten too much, which strangely involves more eating. More eating of what is called a pawn. But of course, we can't eat a leaf just like that. So to the leaf, we add Gulkhand, which is some kind of Shrikhand that hasn't used appropriate sunscreen and therefore became Gul. Don't Google this. Katechu, which sounds so cute that we can't leave it out just because we don't know what it is. We can always do with some Katechu. Katechu venu ma. Kolungu. Chunambu, alayas lime. In case you thought this was Ayurvedic gimmick, we throw in some science and call it calcium carbonate, which means this is some Tesla level stuff. The scientifically uninclined think, oh, Chunambu, of course, basement is weak, so building should be made strong. Makes sense. Sweet chutney because we are Indian. Sugar coated fennel seeds. Fennel seeds to support the farmers and sugar coating the truth that we don't actually care about supporting the farmers. Cardamom because why should anything be perfect? We must always have something that reminds us we can't have too much fun in life, no? Desiccated coconut because South India needs validation. Tutti frutti because why not? Cherry because tutti frutti. Beetle nut because we have the leaves, so why not the nut that birthed the sleep? Circle of life. Hakuna matata. And all this wrapped in leaf and held together with a wooden toothpick because eco-friendly. Once done eating, we take the eco-friendly toothpick that was until now holding the pond together and reuse it as a poking, tweaking and dredging device to chisel out the remaining ponds from between our teeth and direct it into our mouth. Finally, peace reigns as we chew and digest. And then what happens next? is where the facade of harmony of equality between vegetarians and non-vegetarians is broken. The bill arrives and we are expected to split it equally. How? How can it be split equally? Like the pan, our soul that was once green turns blood red and boiling. Just because our paneer butter tastes like your butter chicken or mutton makhani, does milk become poultry? Does curd become cattle? You ate the cow after it ceased being a cow. We ate the cow while the cow was still being cow. In fact, as the cow was dying, being killed by you and for you, we milked her last wishes. Swish, swish, swish. And when we saw her die, our blood curdled her milk into this paneer. And when that paneer, which was made for us, sat on our table, we saw you grab a piece of your kebab, which we didn't touch because we loved that cow. We saw you, nay? So 
ना मूव योर हैंड्स टू आवर प्लेट विच वॉज श्योरली सोशली डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम योर कबाब प्लेट एंड सीज द पीस ऑफ आर पनीर वेल प्रिटेंडिंग टू कंटिन्यू कैजुअल कॉन्वर्सेशन यू डिट इवन फॉज वी डिट प्रोटेस्ट दैन we thought this transgression will be factored into the final judgment and accounted for in the bill and now when the bill has come we are all suddenly equal paneer and kebab there is a clear 40% difference in their values in processing from farm to table rendering my food being 40% lesser costing than yours adding to that you ate 50% of my 40% and i ate 0% of your 100% which means if you do the math you will realize i only have to pay 20% of the share that we currently deem as mine when shared equally if you didn't understand that math fully vitamins and greens take our word for it and then when you factor in the overall equation vegans who will anyway be overall are overpaying and hence be subsidizing all our foods to let's say up to 20% balance is zero we vegetarians should be getting all our meals free all the time we are the entire balance in the ecosystem part because we allow vegans to feel more virtuous than us and allow non vegetarians to not feel too bad although they are causing more global warming per capita you are also tired of paying for things that don't apply to you that aren't things that you need to pay for then i guess for the really important things in life like car and bike insurance you should choose aco because they have this algorithm that designs your costs based on you trust aco because aco pole varuma orume Akola